What's up guys, it's Mr. MySS here, and right now I'm going to talk about writing a polynomial equation given its roots. Um, it's really not that bad, but the examples I'm going to have here are um, we're going to have imaginary numbers, so I'll show you how th those work. So let's take a look at the first one here. So one thing I want to make sure that you realize is that when we're doing this, when we're creating a, a polynomial equation given its roots, we have to know that the imaginary solutions always come in pairs. So if you have 4i, you also know that you have negative 4i. Right? They have to come in pairs. So here's how we're going to write this. We're going to do x minus 2. Because see, here's what's going on. If I took x minus 2 and set that equal to 0, I'd add 2 to both sides and I get x equals 2, which is what I have here. So I have to do minus 2, not plus 2. I'm going to multiply that by x minus 4i and x minus a negative 4i, which is plus 4i. Okay, and just again, this right here, this right here is x minus a negative 4i. Because I'm taking x minus this, x minus this, x minus this. Then I'm going to multiply this sucker out. <clears throat> x minus 2. Use FOIL here. x squared minus 4ix plus 4ix uh, minus 16i squared. Let's go away. We get x minus 2 times x squared. i squared is negative 1, so x squared plus 16. Multiply it out one more time. We get x cubed minus 2x squared uh, okay. x cubed minus 2x squared plus 16x minus 32 alright so there you go just make sure that you you multiply by the conjugate as well by the you know you gotta have two of them alright let's take a look at here's a practice problem for you all right, here's the answer. Hopefully that's what you got. Oh, I forgot to put equal zero. So let's go back here. Put equal zero. I forgot it's a, it's an equation. So I gotta put equal zero. All right, so let's take a look at one last example here, and then I got one more uh, one more um, practice problem for you. So this here, I got three plus five i, three minus i. So I got three plus five i, three minus five i. Okay, these are my two roots. So I'm going to do x minus 3 plus 5i times x minus 3 minus 5i. Remember, we just always do x minus it. So now I've got to distribute that little negative here. So minus 3, oh, 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 oh. Minus 5i, because I've got to distribute the negative x minus 3 plus 5i because again I have to distribute this negative in here now I'm going to multiply this out now uh, just because I'm going to save some I want to do this a little organized way here I'm going to put this in a little table okay so then I'm going to multiply So I'm going to get x squared, negative 3x, 5ix, negative 3x, positive 9, negative 15i, negative 5ix, positive 15i, and negative 25i squared. All right, now notice the negative 15i and the 15i and the negative 5x and the positive 5ix. So I'm left with x squared minus, um, that looks like 6x plus 9. And this is a negative 25i squared. i squared is negative 1, so that's plus 25. So then I just add those two like terms up. 25 and 9 is 34 equal to 0. All right, so that's how you do it with uh, with these um, you know with these imaginary this complex root here three plus five i three minus five i. You want to make sure you do minus, distribute the negative, multiply it all out, 
simplify. There you go. Here's one practice problem for you. Try it out. All right, let's see what you got. Make sure you pause it if you haven't paused it. Ah, did you get that? Oh, if you did, good job. Excellent. Bye-bye. See you later, guys. That's the end of this video.